Hello students, welcome back. How are you today? Great, I hope you're all fine. So today we have new topic about parts and functions of flowering plants. Again, parts and functions of flowering plants. Okay, so before we will start, let's read our vocabulary words first, okay? But I want you to listen to me and after we will read it all together. Do you understand? Okay, great. So please listen. Leaves. Flower. Stem. Root. Fruit. Xylem. Fluem. Okay, this time I want you to repeat after me. Say, leaf. Flower. Stem. Root. Fruit. Xylem, fluem. Okay. So these are the parts of the plant. So first we have flower, leaf, fruit, stem, and root. Okay. So flower helps in reproduction. Leaf performs photosynthesis. Fruit protects the seed. Stem supports the plant and root absorbs water and minerals. Okay, so let's talk this one one by one. Are you ready? Okay, great. So first we have roots. Okay, so what you can see on the screen is roots. So root absorbs water and minerals. Okay, so this is the uh, main function of root. So you can see the xylem. Okay, so look at the screen. Xylem. So, xylem carries water and minerals from the roots, okay, to the other parts of the plant. Okay, so the next function of root is that it provides support to the plant, okay? So, some plants such as carrots and radishes, um, their food is stored in their roots. Okay, so look at the picture of carrots and radishes. So their, fo their food is stored in their roots. Listen. We will talk about the two root system. Okay, so the top root and the fibrous root system. Okay, so top root system consists of a large and thick main root and smaller root. Okay, so look at the picture of top root system. It has main root and smaller root. So, examples of plants that uh, have top root system are bean, mango, and sunflower plants. Okay, so next we have fibrous root system. Okay, fibrous root system. So, look at the root of this plant so it has no it has no main root but only thin and branching roots okay so no main root so example of plants that um, have fibrous system is ir corn rice and banana okay so next we have stem again stem so what you can see on the screen is stem. So what is the function of stem? It transports water, minerals, and food to the other parts of the plant. Okay? So the second thing, food is transported to other parts of a plant through a tube called fluem. Okay? So look at the picture. You can see you can also see xylem, okay? So, the, the stem provides support to the leaves and flowers, okay? So, plants that have a soft stem which can bend easily are watermelon plant, custard apple tree, okay? So, these two plants have soft stem, okay? That can bend easily, 
Okay, so next we have leaf. Again, leaf. So, leaf captures sunlight, okay, and makes food for the plant. Again, it captures sunlight and makes food for the plants. Okay, so plants with green leaves have chlorophyll to capture sunlight. Again, plants with green leaves have chlorophyll to capture sunlight. Okay, so look at the picture. We have here stomata. The stomata, look at the, it is the pores, okay? So it allows gases such as carbon dioxide, um, oxygen, and water vapor, okay? So look at the picture. So guard cell, guard cell is the opening and closing of stomata, okay? So this one, you can see the guard cell. So the on the second picture, on the left side, this is the open stomata. And on the right side, this is closed stomata. Okay. So, I have here sentence structures. Teacher will ask, what part of flowering plant is it? So, your answer should be, it's a or an lang. For example, what part of flowering plant is it? What is your answer? It's a leaf very good okay next what part of flowering plant is it it's a root very good okay so it's your activity time i want you to answer this one on your notebook okay so for example in number one this is the root system so we uh it has two what is the first one and the second one, okay? So, I want you to answer this one on your notebook. That's all for today. Thank you and goodbye!